Hey guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And PB wanted to be in a video today because it is his 12th birthday. And he said, I am a very important part of your booktube channel. So he sits next to me every day while I'm filming videos on four different channels. And he's in my vlog a lot, and he's just my best friend, my little buddy, and he wanted to be in a video today. So here, we sit right there. He always sits right to my left. Um, I wanted to get on here and I wanted to do a video uh, kind of checking in with the book club, but I also wanted to do like a book vlog, just kind of like, not really a vlog, but just kind of like a catch up of where I'm at. It just like started getting so dark outside. It's like, oh, rainy skies. I'm ready for that perfect reading night. Um, but I wanted to kind of do an update of where I'm at in my reading and things like that because a lot of people have been asking me, is the book club going on? Is the book club going on? You haven't really said much about it. so. Um, what I have planned to do at the book club is update where I'm reading or where I'm at reading um, on my Goodreads. So follow me on Goodreads. It's all over there. Um, and uh, as well as tweet things out, stuff like that. Um, I'll try to probably be a little bit better about the tweet tweeting. <laughs> tweeting. Uh, the problem is I don't want to ruin it for anybody, right? So I'll probably kind of do some like ambiguous tweets. So if you don't know what you don't know is a lot. We are reading My Sweet Audrina by B.C. Andrews, and here is my copy right here. Um, so as for an example, I might you know tweet something out like Via Vera is being a very naughty girl or something like that, right? And um, so it wouldn't like ruin anything for anybody. It would leave it kind of ambiguous. So right now I am currently on page. I'm dog earing this book too. This is reminding me so much of reading in high school and. Um, it's so funny because when I read this book, like here's the deal, whenever I do like rereads, I usually like about a half of the way through or a third of the way through, I like instantly like remember everything that happens. I don't remember anything from this book and yet I remember reading it. Like I can actually remember when I read it, but I don't remember anything about this book. Like nothing is connecting with me. Um, Except the fact that she was named after her sister that died before she was born. So I'm currently on page um, 120. I am in the chapter called Competition. Um, and I am at the part where, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of something that I can say that won't ruin it for anybody else. Um, I'm at the part where they're about to have a party. Um, and uh, Vera's just gotten into some trouble. So uh, one of the things I have noticed as people have been tweeting me and things like that and leaving me messages is that depending on the copy you have, whether it's this copy, the Kindle version, or the original version, the page count is completely different on all three of them. So how are you guys enjoying it so far? I think it's like the perfect pick for Peter's Book Club, and I'm so excited, and I'm loving that we're reading some kind of different books. It was so funny, I was at dinner the other night with some friends, and I uh, just kind of threw out that I had started a book club, and they are like, oh really, like, when does it meet? And I go, no, it's not like that kind of book club, like, it's on my booktube channel. And a lot of them don't really understand it. They're like, how do I, where do I find booktube? Like, do you guys, if you have booktube channels, do people ask you that, like, where is booktube? Where do I sign into it? And I'm like, there's no, booktube's a community of YouTubers that just talks about books, but, I kind of like thinking that booktube is behind this secret garden and wall, you know, and you have to have a special key to get into it. Like, I like thinking of booktube that way. But anyway, so I was explaining it to them. They're like, well, what books are you doing? Are you doing like a lot of like the Oprah's books? And one of my friends was like, oh my God, I have a great book for you. And I was like, no, we're doing like pop culture books, like cult classics, pop culture books. We started with V.C. Andrews. And all of my friends were like, oh my God, I read those in high school. So it's so funny how many people are telling me that they read these in high school. What's interesting about this, I didn't realize, um, I think it was when I was looking at the Flowers in the Attic at the bookstore, is that it originally came out in 1982. Well, I graduated from high school in 1990, so I don't know why these books like gained popularity again in the late 80s, but I know that like I didn't start hearing from about them until like 87, 88, so I don't know if they like did really well always or if they didn't get popular again until the late 80s. Does anybody know? Like, I would be really interested to know more about that. And um, if anybody knows where you can find out more about V.C. Andrews, Virginia Andrews, um, other than just on the documentary that's very short on YouTube, I would love to know because I would like to know more about her. Um, she passed away and she only wrote so many books and then she apparently left outlines for hundreds of books to come. There is actually a sequel to this book that was written many, many years later, and it is called White Fern. So um, if we like it, we might read the sequel. I don't know. The sequel, 
is, I mean, it's not written by B.C. Andrews, so uh, it's taken from the same characters, but I don't remember how it ends or anything, so I'm loving reading this. I'm so excited, and I'm having so much fun with it, so... Uh, yeah, let me know where you guys are at in the book. I will tell you, I'm like almost to a chapter end here. Where am I at? I'm almost at, I guess I'm not. I'm halfway through competition, almost to the nightmare and daylight. So if you guys are uh, particip participating in the book club, let me know in the comment section below where you're at. Okay. Then I just wanted to do kind of like a catch up, like where I'm at with reading books. I still have not finished this stupid The Day the Sea Rolled Back. And it's not because I don't like it. I really, really do like it. It's just with all the books that I'm reading, and I'm going to tell you the book that is, like, my go-to book right now, other than my Sweet Audrina. Um, like, I just don't pick this book up. I literally have 40 pages left of this book. I need to just sit down and finish it and just be done with it. And I, it's very good. If you like middle grade books or you're looking for a gift for, like, um, you know, somebody that's, let's say, I don't know, fourth, fifth grade, like, this, is a, this would be a great book. It's about, here's what it's about. They live in the Keys, okay, uh, this Johnny and his dad, but it's really um, about, like, they're out of money, and they don't know how they're going to come up with money, and the, their dad is, like, his dad is, like, a, um, is it Johnny or is it Tommy? <laughs> Larry and Josh. See, I can't even remember the name. <laughs> I swear I thought it was Johnny. Is that like some cartoon, Johnny something? And he used to do like adventures. It is. Johnny Quest. <laughs> but anyway, Larry and Josh. So it's Larry's dad and he's like, uh, he like dives for treasure. Well, they know where all the treasure is, but they can't get to it and they can't find it because it keeps on, these ships keep on blowing and stuff like that. Well, then the sea rolls back and these two, got, these two uh, boys, while their dads are out of town, like go out there and they start scavenging. So it's kind of a cool book. It's a cool concept. Okay, I'm still reading The Husband's Secret by Liam Moriarty. I'm kind of savoring this at this point. I sat outside and read like 50 pages when it was really, really nice, and then the next day it snowed. So I haven't had a chance to like go back and reread this. This is kind of honestly like my before bedtime um, book that I read. I sit over there on the couch and I read My Sweet Audrina, and I usually read, I'm re trying to read. 30 pages a day so that it'll take me through to the Saturday before the book club starts the next book, which is Heaven, um, on Sunday. If you want all the information about all the books, it's under my last book club video. Um, I'm probably going to do the live stream for My Sweet Audrina a week from this upcoming Saturday, and I will announce more about that later. So I read My Sweet Audrina until I've read 30, 30 or 40 pages for the day. And then I, before I go to bed, I go upstairs and I read Leanne Moriarty's The Husband's Secret. Depending on how awake my husband is because he doesn't like lights on. So, uh, and this is, I love this. I'm just, it's, I'm kind of savoring it this time. Like Big Little Lies, I just rushed through. This one is, I think, just as good. Like all of her books seem very similar to me, but I'm kind of like savoring it. Do you ever do that with a book? Okay, now. Let me tell you what my go-to book is of the day, okay, of the week, of the month, whatever. Every time I just, like, want to pick up a book and read two or three pages, like, or I take a book with me, I always have a book in my backpack. I don't know if I've talked about this on here, but I always carry a backpack with me everywhere I go. So I always have a book with me. And the book I've been carrying with me everywhere is Orange uh, by Ichigo N N Takano. I'm probably butchering that name. I apologize. But it's manga. I think I'm pronouncing this wrong. Everybody keeps on telling me, Manga, manga, manga. I mean, nobody will tell me exactly that they know for a fact it's called this. So could somebody in the comment section below please let me know? Uh, for the time being, I'm, time being, I'm going to call it manga. This is really good, you guys. Like, I have, it's so weird. Like, I, my uh, brother-in-law read a lot of, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, manga when he was in high school. The, the Dragon Ball Z. Is that, like, manga that they turned into, you know, anime or whatever? He loved that. He, we, every time we would go to the bookstore, he always wanted to read those. Or, uh, this is, like, more, like, when he was in middle grade. But in high school, he read a lot of the manga. But in middle grade, he read a lot of the Percy Jackson books, and I would always buy them for him. But then he got into manga, and I always was kind of like, I would flip through them, and I was like, I don't know that I would like this, right? Of course, I'm flipping through it this way, because I'm an idiot, and I think it goes this way back, which is why I stood in the bookstore and had no clue what was going on, until I realized, oh, it goes the other way. I guess I should have known that. This is really genius, the way it's written. It's about this girl, and she gets this letter from herself 10 years in the future, and it's telling her, like, what will happen throughout the day and what to do, but it doesn't tell her why. So um, it kind of speculates, and then she gets a second letter and things like that. It's very, very interesting. It was 1995 at Barnes & Noble. It was the only place I could find it other than online, and I was like, finally, I just kind of was like, screw it, I'm going to buy it. So I did. Now, I'm, like, 
these books I'll probably finish this weekend. So I was over at my bookshelf and I was like, what's a book that's a series that has two or three books out? Because I like sometimes with series to wait until they're all out so then I can read them. And I was like, what's a series that I really wanted to read for a long time that gets a lot of good reviews and a lot of bad reviews that I can make my own decision about? Typically books that get an equal amount of both, like it's interesting, like I like to read them and then make my own decision. So I have the first two books in the series of the Illuminae series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and I've never read it, and I said I was gonna read it like last summer. I also have Gemina over there. So I'm gonna read this. It looks like kind of like it's not too difficult to read. Um, have a lot of you read this? What would you what would you say? Do you think I'm gonna like it? Brace yourself, you're about to be immersed in a mindscape that you'll never want to leave. I mean, I would never want to leave a mindscape that was that awesome. Marie Lu said, best-selling author of the Legend Trilogy. I think the cover is beautiful. Everybody's covered this in the entire world and talked about it. I, I haven't read it, so, you know. But it seems to be done with, like, emails and, I don't know, letters and things crossed out. And so, anyway, it looks kind of interesting. It reminds me a little bit of Sleeping Giants um, by Sylvain Nouvelle but more young adult. So I'm gonna check this out and start this probably sometime this weekend. If you guys have read this, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Don't spoil it for me, but if you said like, oh, I hated it or oh, I loved it, it, it depending on how many I get of one, it might coerce me into reading it or not reading it. So I have so many books. I was looking at my bookshelves the other day. I was like, I, this is the summer of reading for me. I have so many books over there that I haven't read that I wanna read and I got really kind of excited about it. Do you guys do that whenever you look at your bookshelf? You're like, oh my God, I have so, so many books I haven't read. So I'm really excited about this summer, and um, I'm gonna do uh, Dewey, the Deweyathon, Dewey's 24-hour readathon. I'm gonna do that on the 28th, and then I just saw that Books and Lala announced um, a, a readathon that she's doing with somebody else. I can't remember what it's called, but it comes out in May. I just noticed that, so I'm gonna do those two readathons, and then I think Emojiathon is in June, and then I will be doing Booktubeathon in July if, if it's right. I haven't heard anything announced about it. So I'm really excited about those readathons, and then I am also going to try to put together a readathon this summer. I'm not really sure what it's going to be called. It will be kind of around the theme of summer camp, so um, I'm real excited about that. And uh, yeah, it'll be something to do with summer camp. So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think of all those ideas and things in the comment section below. Any recommendations for readathons or books? I'm always open to. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.